What's up fellow bushcrafters? Today we're gonna to talk about something a lot of people have been asking about, the folding skillet and an easy way to cook with it. This video is really less about the skillet itself, more about one cooking method you can use with this style skillet, and this is more of a socket style skillet. Now a lot of people have been asking me in other videos that I've done about the skillet that I'm using, it has the folding handle on it. That one already has a wooden attachment on it with a simple screw which you can take out and add a longer handle, that's what we're gonna do today. That one unfortunately was bought in Sweden by one of my good friends for me, so I can't give you a good location to purchase one of them. I know some people listed below in some of the comments of my other videos where they found ones that were similar, so you can go back and look at that. If you want something like this though, which also works really well, you can go over to Jaws Townsend and & Son and they sell a folding skillet, go to like market fairs or 18th century reenactments, they normally have these cool folding skillets at those locations. With these skillets, a lot of times, not just these, but handled skillets, you have a hard time getting them balanced somewhere on the fire, you don't wanna put them directly on the coals, you don't have a grill top, so there's a very easy way, and that's really where this socket comes into play. We're gonna, number one, make a really nice long handle. So I made it, it just sticks right in the end there, Nice and long, okay? So this handle's about four foot. Let's go over to the fire now, and we'll take a look at actually how we employ this handle and two cut sticks to work perfectly with the folding skillet. For this setup to be correct with that long-handled skillet, you're gonna need two Y branches. This Y branch was growing this way. It's cut short here, here, and left long. It's gonna become a hook, an upside-down hook, just like that. And you can see a typical Y branch. The typical Y branch goes close to the fire. The upside down Y branch is gonna come back a little bit further and get pushed down into the ground so it's good and sturdy upside down. Now I can take my skillet, I could place it in the Y branch and under the Y branch and that is going to support my skillet out over those hot coals. This way, I don't have to worry too much about placing my pan in any weird spot, setting up anything else, carrying a grill grate, this will work fine. You can always add more of those upside down branches in the back and that will work good too. But for a basic setup, this will get the job done. You're up off the flames or up off the coals, very controlled heat, works way better. Definitely something to think about on your next trip. And that's it, another easy trick for you guys to try out when you're at camp. Those folding skillets are superb. They are very packable, multi-purpose. They work really well. I suggest if you find one, pick it up. It's a great piece of kit to have out here and it's real traditional looking. So this was Dan Wolwak with Coldcracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, you can smash the button below on like, hit subscribe, or check us out over coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods, guys.